Coming up, we're going to talk about living in Claremont on this week's episode of Moving to Orlando. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show coming to you from the Bob Varley studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined by my good friends, Sean Falk. Hi. Ruben Cologne. Hello. And our producer, Corey Fiascanaro. Welcome. And as always, the disclaimer, the disclosure, Sean, Ruben, and I are realtors. We're real estate agents here in Florida. Um, and drinking game, every time I say moving to Orlando.com, you have to take a shot. Um, it can be a shot of Coke, zero, or Coca-Cola. <laughs> Not a, You know what I mean. Just kidding. Or not. Whatever you want to do. Um, but if you're interested in moving into the Orlando area, please send us an email, admin at movingtoorlando.com, or visit our website, movingtoorlando.com. Um, now, a couple weeks ago on our website, we put up an article written by Ruben, who uh, is has lived in Claremont for most of his life. Um, and so we thought doing a show about Claremont, we get a lot of questions about it. Um, so I'm going to kind of open it up to you, uh, Ruben, and let you, uh, let you talk about. I do have some stats. Oh, you have some stats? Yeah, I have like statistics if you want to just talk about some. We used to do these neighborhood videos and we kind of stopped and then it got too much to like do just neighborhoods forever. Um, but, uh, if you do want to, if you're interested in moving to the Claremont area, it's really long of an area. Um, so it does stretch a good ways down highway 27 going towards 192, um, kind of where they meet in the four corners area. So when you say Claremont, that could mean you're up North, like going towards Mineola. It could mean you're going South towards Davenport. It's just a longer stretch. Um, the median home value uh, condos and townhomes are about 180,000 as the median. Um, and then single family homes, the median is 250. So that's uh, around what we're looking at, 250. Really, in my opinion, closer to 300. But I guess there are some still in the uh, Claremont properties area that or in that 250s range. Uh, the median household income is about 58 to 65,000 a year per household. Um, and actually it's weird because like trajectory wise, the further north into Claremont you go, the more money, the more income people make. So the further south you live and literally with each road, it kind of like creeps up as it goes. So it's neat. That's the only place I've seen it's like that. But we were, you know, we just did a home tour mm -hmm. in, in Claremont absolutely stunning home yeah uh, available on our moving to orlando take a shot uh, uh youtube channel youtube.com mm -hmm. slash moving to orlando um and how much was that one that was 398 398 mm -hmm. that was a stunning home yeah it was right on the lake so we're up in like mineola like minnehaha area so that's like uh even that was towards the more expensive end of some of the homes that are in Claremont. Obviously there's some that like go in the millions there, but they, uh, they're fewer and further between than other areas that you know of around. But it's Orlando. absolutely possible to mm -hmm. be under 400,000 in a stunning home in Claremont. Yeah. I and mean, there's plenty of houses that are even lower. It's just where the one I picked that day, it depends on what's available <laughs> to go in really. Um, but, uh, Interest, kind of interesting fact to me, uh, there's the rate of people who have a bachelor's degree in Claremont is about 27%. So it's definitely lower than the average in the Orlando area and in a lot of cities. So um, there's not as much pressure. That's something that people ask me about a lot. And it kind of spooks people off sometimes when it's like, oh, everybody there has like been to college or has like their master's degree and all that. Um, they're not so much the case in Claremont. And there is another stuff written. Um, oh, there is also 18 miles of fiber optic uh, line that has been put down in Claremont, which is one of the most in the central Florida area. Yeah. That's very hard to find fiber optic and seems to be a big thing for a lot of people. Yeah. Well, especially if, right now, especially so. right. If you're working from home and you need the Internet, um, I can tell you as somebody you know, I'll tell a quick story. Um, I've been wanting fi i had been wanting fiber forever, right? Um, but it was never in this area. And then I guess it was last year or the year before, I noticed a number of days 
where there were AT&T trucks on the street. And after a couple of days, I'm like, oh, tell me. So I go running outside and I talk to one of the techs. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, we're running fiber. I'm like, oh my God. And so I immediately like go to AT&T's website, not available in this area because it takes them, it took them like three or four months. Mm -hmm. But the minute it was available, I signed up. And did this, and I also uh, got Direct TV along with it. Um, the uh, prior to that, I had uh, Spectrum uh, cable, which I was I, I was paying for three hundred megs, three hundred meg uh, speeds. I was lucky if I got one fifty, and they were charging me a fortune for that. Plus, I had to have two independent connections coming into the house because the studio going out when we would go out live we needed a really strong connection so it had to have its own the fiber speeds i'm talking routinely i'm getting eight nine hundred megs up and down so when i have a five gig video to upload to youtube or to Dropbox, because the guys have to work on it. That video's up in 20 minutes. And whereas on the previous connection, you know, it's get some popcorn. You're going to be there for a while. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm in Kissimmee, and if I have to send a video in, as we when we were doing stuff remotely more, we'd have to film ourselves, send it in, so it could be worked out. And, I mean, if... If any of y'all saw any of our live videos, none of mine ever came through. So, because my internet, I have Spectrum internet, and I'm there, and it's not fiber, and, you know, it's terrible, terrible up and down. Yeah, it was pretty much third world. Oh, yeah. Um, no, it's really bad. So, fiber, Claremont has a lot of fiber. So, if you do want to move and your plans to work in an office, in a home office, um, that's a, a good option. Another thing people have asked about, which we didn't used to do with neighborhood videos, um, I have a list of some of the major employers in the Claremont area. Um, the top ones are Schmidt Construction, and that's in all levels, whether you're a laborer or whether you are in corporate or whatever you're in. Um, Amazula, which I had never heard of, it's uh, roofing and building materials. They also provide a lot of materials for uh, the theme parks, for Disney, for Universal. So that's a good one there. And also the uh, Special Olympics of Florida is headquartered in um, Claremont. And that's one of the biggest employers. Uh, so they have all sorts of jobs there. Lake County Schools is uh, a, a big hub in Claremont. So if, you know, for teaching, everything like that, a lot of teachers seem to want to be in, in the Lake County area. And then, of course, city jobs with the city of Claremont. And the big one, with the exception of Lake Nona, Claremont is one of our more medical leaning areas. They have lots and lots of medical facilities, lots of medical jobs, if you want that. Um, so South Lake Hospital, uh, Vista Clinical, University of Florida Cancer Center, the Pure Clinic is there. And the Pure Clinic does stuff with like uh, robotics for surgery and stuff. So they can do like remote surgeries even where you can work no. with controls and stuff. No. So um, that's that's also an Hell option. To yeah, the no. Or a sidecar um, movie waiting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, no, I, you are simply not going to operate on me remotely. I don't you think know? it works exactly that way, but I don't, I'm not sure how it works. No, doctors on the beach, <laughs> doctors in the beach in like the Cayman Islands. Yeah. And he's got some like VR glove thing going on. No, no. And then some things to do in Claremont. Um, obviously, there's a lot of lakes. There's chains of lakes up there. So if you have a boat, if you want to go out, you want to fish. Um, there's also a lot of kayaking at the river park. There's hiking. Um, Claremont's one of the few areas here that have hills at all. And they're not like, you know, you're not in the Appalachians or anything. But they uh, still, there are some hills. There are some inclines to go up. Um, there's also the Claremont Performing Arts Center, which is really the main thing we have besides the Dr. Phillips center um so if you want to see some shows and they're not as big of shows but it's more theatery kind of stuff is there and um the president's hall of fame is there i have never been there before <laughs> um never been maybe it's okay i don't know and, and if, uh, you, if you if you're very very quiet you can hear the banjos <laughs> um, and then uh, the uh, there's also a nice downtown area, which to me, I, I have been once or twice to the downtown strip. It kind of looks like the new um, 
the new area of Disney Springs that they added in, just exterior wise, because it has that brick faux look on the outside. There's and, a cool, there's a cool downtown, yeah, area. Lots of cool stores and little little restaurants and stuff. Yeah. Not quite, not quite Winter Gardens downtown, yeah, but it's yeah. cool nonetheless. Yeah, and there's like a brewing company there. There's the Arts Walkway and a couple other things. So there's a lot to do, but Ruben lives there, so. Yeah, I mean, you touch up on a lot, 90% of things. So oh, gonna bring it, but it's okay. Um, yeah, Stealing so, his thunder. <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, so obviously one of the biggest things about Claremont is that it's not just about, you know, who lives there. It's not just about the community itself. It's also about the history behind Claremont. Um, Claremont, like, started out in 1956. The Citrus Tower was built. And that's what started drawing more and more crowds into Claremont. And, and it's built and built. Again, I, I, I revert back to the banjo comment. <laughs> it, it's true. I mean, it was all orange groves. Let's go see with. the Citrus Tower. <laughs> all right. And its defense, it was, uh, like, at the time when it was built, like, you got to see, like, all this land and all that, like, it, it, it was beautiful. Now you see a whole bunch of buildings and stuff. But, like, Claremont, that's what it started. It's great knowing that, you know, this... This community started as nothing, just orange groves, and now it's this huge like uh, area where everyone uh, wants to retire, families want to come and live, and uh, you know build up their families and have their children grow up in. It's a great community, and um, you know one of the biggest things about Claremont itself is that, as I just said, it's a big retirement area. So you'll see that there's a lot of 55 plus communities. If you want to go ahead and re- you know uh, retire one of those homes, buy a home in one of those communities, it's also a great like. Uh, destination for people that are well athletic because it has a lot and a lot of mountains uh, or hills and a no lot and, <laughs> and a lot of bike trails. Um, Claremont has a bike trail that's about seven to eight miles long, and then it connects to the West Orange. Seventy eight miles? No, seven to eight. Seven to eight. Seven to eight. Seven to eight, seven okay. to eight miles long, and then it connects to the West Orange Trail, which um, actually goes on for about twenty two miles. So it's a it's tons and tons of of like things to do. Um, you mentioned the Hall of Presidents, not the best place to go. Well, the but pres- it's, uh, no, it's the President's Hall President's of Fame. Hall President's Hall of Fame. Fame. Yeah, it's it's. So what president. exactly? It's I'm listed a- as like a top thing to do. I'm, well, I'm not <laughs> in. So it, it's listed all over the internet, but it's pretty much like think of it as like a wax museum, kind of. It's just like a whole bunch of different like things put up relating to presidents that you can find on the internet. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it might have been great when it was first introduced, um, but now like. In this day and age, I don't understand how it's still there. I'm terrified. Yeah, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I'm terrified. Um, it's, it's, it's it sounds like it, it, it sounds like a nightmare. It's scary. I I don't like. There's this really really scary uh, statue outside of it of um, Abraham Lincoln, and it gives me nightmares. I love Abraham Lincoln. Don't get me wrong, but like this statue is terrifying. It comes to life at yeah. night, and, like stalks you yeah. when you sleep. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah. The Citrus Tower. It's actually like 226 feet tall, so you get a good view of Claremont. If you go up to the top, it's like cheap it's like five ten dollars to go up to the top of this tower and then you can see everything or obviously not everything but you can see like everything in the claremont area the downtown claremont area um obviously i grew up there so i'm a little biased but like i perform at the community theater in downtown uh, claremont um I, I i performed aladdin at one point um and a couple other roles um, uh, when I was younger and then, um, the downtown area is like beautiful. Um, he mentioned it, it, it does kind of look like a very Disney Springs area and it's a, it's a very, very cozy feeling. Just walking down those streets, just, just gives you this, like this, this, I don't know, old vibe while I, I don't know how to explain it. Like you're walking through like a small little town and you just kind of taking it in this old, it definitely has a small town feel to it. Yeah. There's no question. Mm-hmm. It it's- really has that. That small town charm, um, and the area is gorgeous. I mean, all, all joking aside, the area is really beautiful. Um, and you know, the man who, for whom this studio is named, Bob Barley, used to work with us uh, before he passed away in uh, 2008. Uh, he built his home in Claremont. He, but he built back in like 2000, 2001. In 2000, that house was being built, and it was a beautiful home, man. Beautiful home built. Uh, but he was able to buy the lot behind him as well for a small amount of money. It wasn't much, but it was an orange grove. So they would go out in the morning and literally pick their oranges and make fresh orange juice from it. There were lots of oranges. There were lots of oranges there. Um, and then, uh, of course, like one of the biggest benefits of living in Claremont itself, you're you're not right there in the tourist 
like area. You're you're enough distance away to where you don't have to worry about that tourist, you know, traffic and stuff. And you're but you're close enough to where you can go and visit the magic anytime you want. Um, you're not that far off. There's a lot of back roads to get you there if you want to try to avoid that traffic. Um, and it's it's a great place to be if you don't want to deal with that uh, tourist traffic, that tourist crowd. But you still want to be close enough to where you can just visit anytime you want. And I, I, I love it. Again, bias. I born, raised, bred uh, all my entire life pretty much uh, there. And I enjoyed every single minute living there. And I hope to continue living there. Well, uh, yeah, you live there now. <laughs> I mean, you live yeah. there now. Um, I, I wanted to talk about um, Olympus. And so that's <laughs> coming. Or it's like the new project that's coming. And I, I mean, not that everyone's on the edge of their seat, but maybe it helps because I'm a realtor. But I have decided that the next home I want to buy, I want to buy it in Claremont. That's the area that I would like to purchase my next home. And I go to every area around here a lot of the time. So that's what I've settled on. And a lot of it's price, a lot of it's community in the area and all that. But for me, I think it's a great investment right now because Olympus hasn't been built yet. And I'm banking a lot on that. Um, what exactly? Exactly Olympus. Olympus is going to be a 250 acre uh, sports training facility. And so this is going to have um, collegiate um, people coming. Professionals are going to be having courses there. And I mean, 250 acres, this is huge. And it's going to be a huge, huge, huge sports complex. They just uh, announced it last year that they were going to start it. So obviously nothing's happened yet. But Claremont was chosen from a list of lots and lots of different places where it could have gone. And they did end up picking Claremont for that, that, that site. And I can only imagine that as this grows and develops that it's going to be a desirable place to be. And I think home values will go up personally because of it. So I want to get in now while I can. <laughs> so there, and I, I currently, I plan to buy a town home in a community called Hidden Forest that we uh, have done a video on several times. That, that area of Claremont is where Western Way is going to come out from Disney World. So if you want a quick cut through, uh, there is a road that's coming. And then Olympus is also coming. And I think that now's the time with Claremont because I think home values will go up once you have a cut through to Disney. And once there's this big sports complex that's coming why wouldn't people want to move there and why it will become a hub of the sports world as well as already being medical and lots of jobs coming and all sorts of opportunities. So um, you can look up Olympus pictures online, but it looks great. All right. Anything else? All right. Well, there you have it. That's our, <clears throat> our discussion about living in Claremont. If you have, uh, if you're interested in Claremont, um, please reach out to Ruben, R-U-B-E-N, at movingtoorlando.com, or send an email to admin at movingtoorlando.com, and we can help you out. That will do it for our show for this week. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week with another edition of Moving to Orlando. Have a great week, folks. <laughs>